Good morning. Today's Tuesday tidbit is a science snippet. I've always heard that oil and water don't mix, and I thought it would be fun to try and experiment and see if that's true. So, I've got my Crisco canola oil, and I'm gonna pour it into a bottle. Now, the oil is sort of light in color, but it's got a little bit of a yellow cast to it. The water, I put green food coloring in because it makes it easier to tell which is water and which is oil. So let me get all that water in there. And now, let's observe. Oh, the oil is floating on top of the water. So the oil and the water are not mixing, but we're also seeing that the oil is less dense than the water because it floats on top. That is so cool. So what if I put the top on here? And let's see, I'm gonna turn it to the side and oh my goodness, one thing I can do with this is make a wave bottle. I love to make waves in a bottle. A wave is just a transfer of energy from one point to another. But that is so much fun. You can see the oil floating on top of the water, going back and forth. But now, it hasn't yet mixed. Now I'm gonna shake it violently, really, 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 really hard. And let's see what happens. It looks like it is mixed, but if we wait a few minutes, I wonder if it will still have mixed or something else will have happened. Let's wait. So, about three or four minutes has passed and you can see that the oil is once again floating on top of the water, so they have separated out again. But I'm wondering, is there something we can do that will make the oil and the water mix? I think there is. If we add soap, just like this, the soap is going to surround that oil break it into little balls that will then float in the water. And that's called an emulsion. When two liquids like oil and water that aren't supposed to mix are forced to mix. So you see the suds at the top and you see the oil and the water have mixed at the bottom. And eventually they might separate out some, but pretty much they're mixed. And I think that's why we use soap when we wash our hands, because our skin produces oil to keep our skin soft and flexible. And that oil traps dirt and germs. And we can't just wash it off with water because we just learned that oil and water don't mix. And so if we add soap to our water, we make a detergent that then does mix with the oil and we can wash all those germs away. So, I hope you enjoyed today's Tuesday Tidbit Science Snippet, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mwah! Goodbye.